welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Ms. Chua and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year exam question. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started! This question tells us that some seedlings were planted in two identical pots for two weeks. The pots had the same amount of soil, water, and sunlight. Now, the question is asking us, which of the following graphs below shows the average heights of the plants in pots S and T? So, since the question is asking us about the average heights, let's first take a look at the diagram over here. So right away, what do we notice about the average height of the plants in pots S and T? We can see that the average height of the plants are actually the same. So in our graph, we know that the average height of the plants in pot S and T have to start off from the same point. So let's first take a look at option 1. Is the average height of plants in pot S and T starting off at the same point? Yes, so that is what we want. And in which of the other graphs is the average height of plants also starting off at the same point? That would be option 3. But how about options 2 and 4? What do we notice about the average height of plants in pot S and T in the beginning? We can see that the average height of the plants are starting off at different points. So with that, we can eliminate options 2 and 4. So now we're left with options 1 and 3, and we also have to look at how the average heights of the plants in pots S and T change over the two weeks since they were planted. What do you think should happen to the height of the plants? The height of the plants should increase over time, right? Because they are seedlings and they are growing taller. So if we look at option 1, what do we notice about the average height of plants in pot S? They are increasing, right? So that is what we want. But how about for pot T? The average height of the plants in pot T is actually decreasing. Now, is this possible? Would the plants in pot T be growing shorter? No. In fact, the height of the plants should not decrease. So with that, we can eliminate option 1. So now we're just left with option 3, and let's look at why this should be the correct answer. So if we look at the average height of plants in pot S, is it increasing? Yes, and that's what we want, right? And how about the average height of plants in pot T? It's also increasing, which is what we want. But if we look closer, what's the difference between pot S and pot T? we can see that the average height of the plants in pot S is increasing faster, right? So this tells us that the plants in pot S are growing taller faster. Now, if the plants in pot S are growing taller faster, what do you think that they're trying to reach for? They are trying their hardest to reach upwards so that they can absorb more sunlight. Now, if the plants were trying so hard to absorb more sunlight, do you think that they had plenty and sufficient sunlight to begin with? Probably not. So this tells us that there is actually more competition for sunlight among the plants in pot S. So why is this the case? If we look at our diagram over here, if one of the plants in pot S were to grow a little bit taller, what do you think would happen to the plant next to it? It would receive less sunlight, right? And as a result, it would have to grow even taller so that it can absorb more sunlight. And this would happen for all of the plants in pot S. Now, do you remember what it's called when there are too many plants growing near each other? This is called overcrowding. So we can see that in pot S, there is more overcrowding and this leads to more competition for sunlight. But wait, isn't it a good thing for plants to grow taller so they can absorb more sunlight? Does that mean that it's a good thing to have more overcrowding? Well, what do you think is going to happen to the plants when they grow too tall too quickly? Their stems will actually be thinner. 
And what do you think is going to happen when it rains heavily or when a strong gust of wind blows? The stems are going to break and the plants would die. So that is why when there is more overcrowding, the plants may grow to be less healthy, but they grow taller faster. And hence, our answer for this question is option 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Found this video useful? Give us a thumbs up and check out more by clicking the links here. You can also subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Until next time, stay curious inside and limitless outside.